There's a couple of sore bodies in camp, obviously. Australians brought a lot of physicality, but um, just unbelievably happy with the result. Can you quantify how tough that was? And you've played in a lot of tough games, but I mean, how tough was that? I was pretty close to, yeah, test match standard, you know, it was big boys. I think they had average four kilos on us per player. So yeah, the big, big old boys run hard. So um, yeah, a few bruised bodies today, but no, absolutely over the moon with the win and uh, looking forward to the next game. Set piece, how happy were you? Yeah, uh, not over the moon, but it's making improvements, small gains, you know, and we know, we know where we want to go and uh, we've got a bit, a bit to go till we get there, but uh, just keep working on it. And, uh, Okay. Yeah. I suppose the key word is before Saturday is recovery. How important is that for not just you guys, but for the whole squad? Oh, it's massive. Obviously, when you come to World Cup, it's the first three games in the space of four days of each other. So we've done all that we can so far. We just need to keep doing that, uh, getting in the ice baths, stretching, etc., resting up and eating the right stuff because they come thick and fast. And obviously, it's, they're all tough games. So England on Saturday is going to be another massive shift from everyone. There must be a wee touch of frustration before the tournament, given the way that your Six Nations went, because you, you guys played really well and probably could have come away with more in terms of victories and points in that championship. Yeah, I think especially losing to them last year was a massive upset for us. I think we were in at half-time, just they managed to take their chances, we didn't. So uh, to win yesterday against the top nation was uh, awesome, yeah, really testament to how hard the boys worked from after the Six Nations. We said we want to get better, we said we're going to improve and I think uh, they've done an awesome job, even the backroom staff, everyone's did a, put a massive effort into us firing for that first game and it paid off. So uh, yeah, thank, credit, to, credit, credit goes to coaches and uh, all the backroom staff. You're kind of allowed to relax today a bit, so what, what are you doing? I think we'll smash a few balls, take a bit of anger. <laughs> um, and then, uh, Why is there anger still left over after that win? Nah, there's always anger. There's um, always anger. You don't play rugby unless you're angry, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> nah, just smash a few balls, go for a coffee. Uh, same, I think we're going to smash a couple of balls at the range and then just uh, have a look around the shops, go out for a meal and come back here and rest up. As we prepare, as we prepare for any other game, I don't think we take any relaxed steps because we beat them already. Um, they're going to be stronger, they're going to be tougher. and. Uh, it's going to be a big game, but I think uh, we definitely have the belief in the squad and we've got the players to do that. So we do play well and we take our chances, I think we'll definitely get the win. And that belief for the rest of the tournament is massive. Yeah. The, the way that you've, you know, you've got that initial win, it just helps so much. Yeah, completely. I think with we really needed uh, a good performance by the team yesterday and I think it wasn't our best performance today. I think we can, we can offer so much more. And I think that's what we're going to show in the rest of the World Cup. But um, England will come out firing. It's their home World Cup. And obviously uh, they want to get revenge for what happened in the Six Nations. But they have had quite a lot of boys back. So we're not going to be complacent at all. We're going to do what we do for any other game um, analysis-wise. And we're going to come out firing again.